Well, it's the second can of food for this one. <laughs> you a girl? You a little girl cat? Hmm? Hmm? You had so much fur back here, I can't even tell. I think you're a girl. Yeah, you look like a girl, huh? You okay? Yeah? Mm, yep, yeah, you're a girl. <laughs> you're a girl cat. Okay? It's your second can of food. Alright, so the girl cats are taking over now. We got that white and black one. That's a girl cat. I'm pretty sure of it. And but every time, pretty much all my other cats. Well, wait a minute. We got Gold Digger inside. And she was sleeping on the foot of my bed. I've been picking her. She kind of doesn't run around with the guys or nothing like that. She kind of sticks to herself. So, And she was starting to get in the habit of hiding under the, the sink in the kitchen where the cabinets are. And I says, you know, you're not going to be one of these hiders. So I start taking her, putting her, taking her with me and put her by the bed. And she just sleeps there at the foot, of, like right on top of the bed. Um, and if she stays there all night, and she won't go nowhere till I get up and move. So, and this one, I just gave her a can and a half. And we got two bowls of dry stuff up here. So, that was for my doggy. I used to have the doggy over here. That's the doggy ball, right? Big doggy ball for you, huh? You're an 01 cat. <laughs> I got more stuff coming from Cooters, man. I actually ordered a. You know, he might be watching my videos. I'm not sure, man. <laughs> or somebody might have brought that to his attention. He started, uh, he had like one knife offering before, you know, pocket knife. And now he's got a few more. So I got a. I ordered a couple of them. One of them's got like General Lee on it, Cooter's Garage, and one of them's uh, like a, a plain silver one that's like a Swiss Army knife. It just says Cooter's, Cooter's Garage. So, been ordering stuff from him. He's he, I like ordering from that guy because he's a he's a he's a non phony, you know. He's a real genuine person. So. Yeah, I still watch. I just, I'm, I'm only on. I'm almost at the end of season four. I've been watching Dukes of Hazard here. You know, I don't watch it like every day because I get busy and I don't have time. And I'm busy. But damn, I don't want to watch this. I'm damn, I'm too tired, man. <laughs> I go to sleep and I'm freaking exhausted. And uh, yeah, I've been working on that thing. Probably got to pull off a lot more in the front to get that cam out of there. But the rain—it's been raining out, so you know. I closed the hood and I put a big piece of cardboard over the engine and plus it's under a cardboard so it stay dry. And uh well you know I looked at Wikipedia about what uh Cooter was saying about uh you know the two thousand five um what do you call it movie Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, I never even watched that damn thing. I, I watched part of it. And I saw the previews with Jessica Simpson. I was like, God, what a phony. And he was saying it didn't reflect family values. And, you know, that doesn't bother me so much as it was phony. It's like the whole thing, it could have been X-rated for crying out loud. And if it wasn't phony, like hooray for me and, you know, blah, you know, narcissistic, showy off garbage. Um, well, I could have been X-rated like Benny Hill or something, you know, one of the Benny Hill uh, slapstick things or something, you know, where, I don't know, somebody's top comes off or something, but, you know, not, you know what I mean, if it's, if it's something, it, that wouldn't be family values, right, but it would still, it wouldn't be phony, that's the whole point, and, you know, Man, he's right about it. I agree with him on that big, big, big time. Maybe, maybe from a different angle. But it was Jessica Simpson. I couldn't stand her. You know, it, I couldn't stand her in that damn show. It was like, God. And I like blondes, too. Um, Daisy Duke, like uh, Barbara Bach. What her thing was, she came across like very genuine, down-to-earth, smiley, bubbly. You know what I mean? It was because she was sticking her ass out in her freaking short shorts. It was really, you know, because it was her smiley, bubbly, 
genuine, and she was, she's a country girl type too, I mean, you know, re reality, actually all those actors were, even um, John Snyder, even though he was from New York, I was looking up where he was from in New York, man, he was from New York, I mean, New York State, in some little town, and, uh, you know, all right, she had enough, <laughs> I'll put this up here, so somebody will eat the rest of the morsels, she had enough, she had a Almost cheap, like two cans there. Where you going, huh? Just like a cat. You're a little girl, aren't you? Hey, you little girl with a bushy tail. Your tail's up, and you're still a kitten. You're under one, right? You're probably somebody's cat. I'm sure, right? Because you're not afraid of me, right? Aw, oh, coming right up to me, huh? Mm hmm? Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, you're somebody's cat. So somebody's cat got food. Right? And you still got some ticks on your end of your tail there. You're cute. You're a little one. You're pretty skinny, though. Probably got... Yeah, you've got boobies on the bottom there. You're a, you're a girl. You're a girl. Probably gonna have babies. Probably gonna have kittens. And we have more cats over here. Right? I like you damn cats so much. Cats and dogs. Right? <laughs> right? You little girl, huh? You gentle little girl, aren't you? Huh? And you use Sweetums. And she's purring. This one might be somebody's cat, I think. Because, you know, they're not afraid of me. <laughs> You're a little kitten still, huh? You're a little kitten. Right? You'd be a little girl confederate cat too, huh? Look at my flag up there. Here it is. <laughs> You're a little rebel cat, aren't you? Right? Can <laughs> you look in your face? You could tell, you know, you can even tell with cats the way they they got the female mannerisms and the male mannerisms. Gold digger which uh, sometimes I call her Goldilocks because she's like Goldilocks and the three bears are there. Um, she's like, I don't know. She's got a very, the mannerisms are the same, but she don't she don't like run around with the boys and shit. I'm like, man, I don't think she feels that perfect yet though. Uh, she's gotten a lot better with that carbon C60, but she's still got some spots, not noticeable, visible from the camera, but you can feel them, like in the back. Not, not this black cat, but the gold digger cat. In the back, it's got some dots back there. But I think all that stuff's going to go away. I mean, she had fur missing from in the back there before. It was like gone. But there's still something wrong with the skin under there. But whatever the vet did, didn't work. The carbon C60 was the thing, and I'm just giving her... Perfectly chicken with carbon C60 and perfectly fish. And, uh, right, bushy tail. Green eyes, bushy tail. Almost all black with brown. You're a pretty cat. She's purring. <laughs> Right? What are we doing, huh? You're still a little person, huh?
It'd be kind of cool if I can get these cats to live to be over 50 years old and still stay healthy. Carbon C60. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to work, but... I don't know. It's a little too much. You know, it sounds a little too good to me. I don't know. She could be pregnant, you never know. I mean, who the hell knows, man? She could be. Could be, huh? Eh? Boy, you're not you're not scared at all, are you? Huh? I'm gonna have to go inside now. So you gotta go do things. Alright? You know, I could tell you, you know, I go, I like I own guns and stuff, but I'm a little, man, I almost got an attitude where I don't even want to hurt animals, period, man. I tell you one kind of animal I wouldn't mind hurting, though, is a gator. <laughs> Damn, I wouldn't care about shooting those and eating them, but they're illegal to shoot over here in Florida. They're not allowed to do that. I'm like, I don't know why. You're getting all dirty now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, see? Got a little booby down there, see? Definitely a girl. And you're probably pregnant. Yeah. You probably are. So. I'm your daddy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what I'm saying is like, I'm not even much into hunting, to tell you the truth, man. I guess I don't mind deer, but it's a lot of things I don't like. I don't like hurting animals, man, period. Not at all. It's like, uh, I was thinking about going practically mostly vegan with fish or something. Chicken eggs or something. Good enough protein right there. You know? Probably better for you anyway. All right, cat. You got nice fur. But, you know, I got guns because, you know, that's the reason you got guns is because uh, you got to watch out for that centralized government garbage control Nazi shit. You know what I mean? I mean, it's centers that YouTube don't understand that. Um, but eventually they will. I kind of don't like guns in some ways. But no, they're necessary evil. But I'm pretty good with them because uh, I know how to fix them and I know how to shoot them. You know, part of that reason is because I, I can fix, I can know how to do the car stuff. It's like the same kind of mechanical stuff, you know? Same kind of mechanical aptitude. It's like if you got some redneck engineering skills and stuff, you know? Guns are a lot easier to freaking figure out than cars. I mean, than cars. Way easier. Still gonna have a lot of YouTube videos on them recently, and I'm like, man. Yeah, I keep it simple, stupid, man. God, a little overdoing it with this shit. But, I might put some videos out on my other channel with some of the stuff. A little minor stuff. Because, uh, I don't know, they don't get it. They don't get it, you know? I'm, I'm talking about the YouTube sensors or the Google sensors. They don't get it. It's like if swords are the only damn thing invented, guess what? <laughs> That's what they used to do way back when. They used to say the peasants couldn't have swords. There's a reason for it, because they want to own your ass, you know? Now, if they own me, like the way I take care of that cat, I wouldn't mind it. But people aren't like that at the top, you know what I mean? They're not good people. So... Right? You gonna go wander off now? There you go. <laughs> there she goes. Yeah. I don't even like getting cats fixed, to tell you the truth, man. I can get, but then again, I guess you might have a, you know, gazillion cats out here, like four million of them. <laughs> It'd be like a cat every four four feet on the grass or some shit. 
<laughs> they just keep multiplying. They fill up the whole planet, you know. There's a limit. You have to inhabit another planet. We'll call it Cat Planet. Oh, they got an island in Japan called Cat Island. Um, you know, the Japanese, man, I like Japanese, man. They're like, they're, uh, they're cool. They got, they got this island over in Japan. It's called Cat Island. I forgot the name of it exactly. It's, you know, something Shima or something or whatever. Um, Shima's Island, right? And, or Shima, Cat, whatever. It's says it the other way around. But they, they got so many fishermen over there, they got no problem feeding them. They give them all the leftover fish. They're just all over the place, man. So, cats outnumber the people. But nobody hurts them. As a matter of fact, in Japan, you, you walk down the road, you see a stray dog. The dog will never bite you. You know why? Because they treat it good. They don't, like, surround, like in the United States, well, sometimes a stray dog might not bite you. But then again, they, sometimes they get treated like shit. But it could be a total stray dog. In Japan, they won't bite you. Not at all. Because the people treat them good. It's called civilization. And actually, to tell you the truth, that's what the Old South's about. <laughs> She's scratching a tree. There you go. Nature's scratching post. Plenty of bark there. She ain't even freaking putting a dent in that bark. <laughs> yeah, that's what, uh, that's what the Old Time South's about, you know? Little redneck stuff. Right. Yep. She's going bye bye. See you later, little kid. I don't know what your name's going to be. <laughs>